The Kajisoan and the Little Boy Part 1, Arrival from the Stars In a faraway galaxy, there was a planet called Noion. On this planet lived an Kajisoan named Zane. Zane was very special. His body sparkled like tiny stars, and his eyes shone like the moon. Zane was strong and kind. He could do amazing things like move mountains or make trees grow in seconds. But Zane was lonely. One day, Zane looked up at the sky and saw a blue planet. It was Earth. He thought, I wonder if there are people there who need help. So, he decided to visit. Zane got into his shiny spaceship, which looked like a silver bird. He flew through space, passing by stars and planets. The journey was long, but Zane was excited. He wanted to see what Earth was like. After many hours, Zane's spaceship reached Earth. He looked down and saw mountains, rivers, and villages. He chose a quiet place in Tanzania to land. It was a small village near green fields and tall trees. The people in the village were poor and worked hard every day. Zane landed his spaceship in a forest near the village. He stepped out and looked around. The air was fresh, and the stars in the night sky were bright. As he walked through the forest, he heard a soft sound. It was someone crying. Zane followed the sound and found a little boy sitting under a tree. The boy was wearing old, torn clothes, and his face was wet with tears. Zane felt sad for him. Why are you crying, little one? Zane asked in a gentle voice. The boy looked up and gasped. He had never seen anyone like Zane before. Zane's glowing body and kind eyes made him look magical. Who, who are you? The boy asked, wiping his tears. My name is Zane, he said. I came from the stars. But tell me, why are you so sad? The boy hesitated, but Zane's kind voice made him feel safe. My name is Kigizo, he said. The other children in the village don't like me. They call me names and push me around. I have no friends. My parents passed away and now I live with my uncle. He is not kind to me. Zane's heart ached. He sat beside Kigizo and said, I'm sorry you feel this way, but you're not alone anymore. I am your friend now. Kigizo looked at Zane with wide eyes. Really? You'll be my friend? Yes, I will, Zane said with a smile. And I will help you. The night grew colder and Kigizo began to shiver. Zane noticed and said, let's build a shelter for you. Kigizo pointed to a small hut made of sticks and mud. That's where I sleep. But it leaks when it rains. Zane raised his glowing hand, and the hut began to change. The walls became strong, and the roof turned into a clean, shiny cover. The inside was warm and cozy. Kigizo gasped. How did you do that? Kigizo asked. It's a gift from my world, Zane replied. Now you'll have a safe place to sleep. Kigizo felt happy for the first time in many days. He thanked Zane and said, Will you stay with me? I will stay for as long as you need me, Zane promised. The next morning, Zane woke up early. He saw Kigizo getting ready to go to the village. Where are you going? Zane asked. I go to the village to sell milk, Kigizo said. My uncle keeps the money, but I still have to do the work. Zane decided to go with him. Let's go together, he said. When they reached the village, Zane stayed hidden behind a tree. He watched as Kigizo tried to sell milk. Some villagers ignored him, and others gave him very little money. The children in the village laughed at Kigizo and called him names. Zane felt angry, but he knew he couldn't scare the people. Instead, he thought of a plan. 
That evening, Zane asked Kigizo, what do you dream about? Kigizo was surprised by the question. No one had ever asked him about his dreams. I dream of having friends, he said. I also dream of being strong so no one can hurt me. Zane smiled. You are already strong, Kigizo. You've been through so much, and you're still here. That's real strength. But I will help you feel even stronger. Over the next few days, Zane taught Kigizo many things. He showed him how to grow flowers with just a touch and how to calm animals with his voice. Kigizo learned quickly. He was excited to try these new skills. One day, Kigizo used his new power to grow a beautiful rose bush near the village well. The villagers were amazed. Who did this? They asked. Kigizo stepped forward shyly. I did, he said. The villagers couldn't believe it. The children who had laughed at him before now looked at him with wonder. Can you show us how? They asked. Kigizo smiled. For the first time, he felt special. Zane watched from a distance and felt proud of Kigizo. But he also knew that not everyone in the village would change so quickly. Some people were still unkind to Kigizo. One evening, Zane and Kigizo sat under the stars. Kigizo, Zane said, you have a kind heart. That is your greatest strength. Even if some people are mean to you, never stop being kind. Kigizo nodded. I will try. Thank you, Zane. Zane smiled. You are not alone anymore, Kigizo. I will always be your friend. And so, the bond between Zane and Kigizo grew stronger. Together, they started to bring small changes to the village. Flowers bloomed where there had been none, and the people began to notice Kigizo in a new way. But Zane knew that their journey was just beginning. There was still much to do, and he was determined to help Kigizo find happiness and strength in a world that had been so unkind to him.